All right, so it's been 208 days since I bought these two little red tail catfish. I'm taking videos every day, posting them on YouTube so you can see how fast they grow. And today I noticed that the temperature's down a little bit. So this is actually set on 78 degrees and it's down to 76. Uh, I actually have an 800 watt heater in there. Uh, I'm not sure if it's actually going to be enough for this uh, 300. It's a 350 gallon hot tub. Uh, normally that would be completely underrated, but uh, you know it's it's in my basement and it's completely insulated. There's a ton of insulation, but I've actually brought this pretty much through the summer. I haven't used it during the winter, so it'd be interesting to see how cold it gets and if that thing can keep up. I think the minimum temperature for these guys is 68 degrees, so you definitely don't want to get below that. If I get below that my heater can't keep up, I might have to increase to a bigger heater. Alright, so today I want to start with some hand feeding. See if I can find a big piece of fish here. That's a really big piece. <laughs> Alright, got a big piece of cod right here. And the, the race is on. See who gets it first. <laughs> All right, these guys are like, I actually came up here before the lights were <laughs> turned on and they were like up on the top here on the top of the water, kind of flipping their tails, splashing me with water. It was really cute. But then you put the, turn the light on and it seems like they get a little bit more bashful, but still they're really, they might come all the way to the top like they were before. I don't know, maybe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, 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 he got me. <laughs> oh, I got soaked on that one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, maybe that's not a good idea to bring them up to the top. <laughs> Especially if they get bigger, they'll be like splashing me. I'll be getting soaked. I think they both got a pretty good piece in there over there, choking it down. <laughs> All right, that was exciting. Never been splashed by my catfish before. <laughs> all right, so, wow. Got water all over the place. Whew. All right, so I'm going to pull this filter out so I can feed them the rest without the filter sucking it up. These guys have been doing great. I can't believe how good they're doing. Water staying nice and clear. Haven't had any fishy smell in the water since I started changing out the carbon once a week. Been doing a 50% water change every week and changing out the carbon. I just recently put a new UV bulb in my filter. It has a UV sterilizer in this all-in-one pond filter, which is good. Keeps the water nice and clear. Uh, the bulb burnt out a little while back, and it did get cloudier. I noticed it was significantly more cloudy without the UV sterilizer. And it's super clear now, and it's almost, the water's so clear, you almost can't even tell there's water in there. It's pretty amazing. All right, so today I'm feeding a mixture of three different types of fish. This is cod, tilapia, and mahi-mahi. And I'm going to finish up with some underwater video.